I'm Fraser Corsan. I work for Fujitsu. Um, normally I'm back uh, as a sales executive back in the UK. Uh, but today I'm here in California uh, attempting to do a world record for high altitude wingsuit flight. The four world records that we're actually trying to attempt um, are speed, uh, time, distance and altitude. And they each come with their own specific challenges. So the team all came together um, this morning, having flown in from various parts, and um, we've then come down to skydance, uh, skydiving here in California, and we've met up with um, probably my my guru, quite frankly, in terms of auction systems, uh, Tad Smith. Uh, Tad is our, our halo jump master, which means high altitude, low opening jump master. So he specialises um, in high altitude uh, wing seating and skydiving. Uh, and Tad's been great because we've been able to go through the initial kit today and make sure we're happy with where we are lots of training in terms of the auction kits and making sure we're content with how they fit on the actual rig and container system um, and just getting used to the environment here because we need to be sure that we are happy where we're landing, where we're flying, what the wind direction is doing. Fujitsu are critical to the whole of the project um, because not only are Fujitsu passionate about going faster, further, uh, with greater quality and speed and innovation, um, but they're here actually supporting us uh, in terms of the entire project and bringing that technology to life. My key worry at the moment, to you is the weather. Um, it's beautiful, it's sunny, so why am I worried? Um, the, the extreme heat that's forecast, which is 98 degrees for the day of the jump, um, could challenge the aircraft. It could make it very difficult to get to 37,000 feet, which means we may only get 35, we may only get 34, maybe 36, who knows? I can't worry about it too much because it's the weather. We can't do anything about it. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. We're looking ahead to the Canadian jump as well, um, and the long-range forecast is kind of 50-50 at the moment. Because we're going to be launching in Canada from a high-altitude hot air balloon, it's really critical that we have perfect conditions for that. It's been a good day, a few more jumps, and then we'll wrap in tomorrow where we'll do a bit more technical evaluation with the oxygen kit. Um, but other than that, um, it's been a good day.